What up, Jay Worldwide? What up, Scotty Worldwide? I'm happy to be here. It's my first time, uh, oh, maybe my second time filming with this guy. This is on the Con for Content Creators channel. This is Jason. If you haven't seen him already, it's gonna be a released podcast. You might recognize me like this. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Scotty. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting me back here all the time. I mean. What you guys don't see on the camera, he's there every other day, so. All right. So for content creators, I wanted to talk to Jason because he has a unique skill set with Instagrams, especially Instagram stories in helping his business. And so I have a few questions for Jason. Hopefully we can get a few videos out of this. Yeah. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. How has creating content helped your business? Woo. Ah. Uh, you want the easy question or the easy answer? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of a small business and not no corporate America. And But small business, bottom line is you're not a business unless you're a marketer first, period. That's it. Now, I mean, if you're a small business owner, uh, you're gonna be a little bit more inclined to be a little bit more aware of what you can afford, uh, you know, the P&L balances versus corporate, because corporate they'll give you here's a lump sum do something with it okay have fun with it we'll come back to the board meeting and see if it worked but in small business you know what every penny counts so when we're talking about money and what to invest in anything that's free your ass better be on that game can i say that word well this is my style <laughs> You can delete that. But bottom line, all the platforms that are going on now these days on, you know, let's say YouTube, Facebook, whatever. If you're not on any of those, I mean, just one platform for, you know, that's free, you're missing the game and you're missing the opportunity. Bottom line, I guess if these YouTubers that are like eight years old can get it and you're the owner of a business, you're setting yourself up for a long, stressful, well, it might be a short windfall because the guy that's doing it, and it could be that next generation of kids who are learning how to do social media. They don't know exactly know why, but they're capturing the attention that you're not getting. Your ass gonna be, bam, looking up, like what had just happened? So the old mentality of the 80s, 90s, and even now the 2000s of marketing, better change your thinking. And you better get on the game. With that, you are extending your reach because you're creating content. And from what I notice is that you're also developing deeper relationships with your customers that walk through the door. Yes. Because you've drawn them in through your content and now they've invested some kind of energy in the, the story that you're crafting for the store and yes. what kind of person you are. Yes. Um, look, I'm not gonna tell you anything that's that you guys have not heard through social media is all these so-called entrepreneur motivators. I mean, they're all the same. But bottom line is, if you really want to just hear it straight from me that's in it, like the real business is this. You, 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 start with you. You are the truth, you are the business. Meaning like this, Scotty is a business, Jason Myol is the business. And if you concentrate and be aware about the business on what you want, your business to reflect to the public, meaning like what is your mission statement, your constitution, what's your first line of your, you know, what you describe San Mateo S'mores nutrition of is a direct reflection of what you are. So if you are a person of character, a person of trust, your word is bond, meaning like what you say and you're gonna do it, you're gonna follow up, if you're loyal, if you can, it's all about are you trusted? Meaning like, can you be trusted in public at the store? And can you also be trusted outside of the store? Meaning so, are you the same person in, same person out, same person in the video, same person out in public, talking to person? Are you the same person that you're at home? You're not doing stupid shit like, uh, what are you doing at two in the morning uh, on those sites? I mean. Basically, it's much easier to run a business, remember you are the business, without all those little, like on the side, you know, like I hope nobody finds out. It's much easier if you just walk the walk and you do the talking of the talking here 
And if I don't see Scotty in another year and five years, and we just happen to bump into each other, it's the same Jason, the same business, the same as far as like who he says he is in business, like quality. I got quality service. I got quality attention. I got quality answers, right? To to the exposure of what you see on the camera, meaning like, so when you come in the store, do you actually see the person? He's like no filter on this guy when he does a video. He actually looks the better, hopefully in person. And it, does he sound the same? Or is he just the character when a video or a picture is in his face? Does he change? So you get a consistent message and you get a consistent portion of your character to either your suppliers or your customers or wherever you even run out in public. Yeah, bottom line is if you're just original, you just be you, who you are and you're not hiding nothing, that's already 50%. That's already like 90% of the game of winning right there because when you, the more you start deflecting, you start avoiding the tough questions, like, um, you know, social media is the king of this, and you get challenged all the single time because people want to know if they can trust you, so they're not, they're not going to ask the softball questions, perhaps in the beginning, but eventually they're going to ask those tough questions. And if you can't answer those questions in your industry of influence, well then your true colors, the person that you say you thought you were, you get exposed super quick. And that's perhaps one of the best as far as if you're going to start an entrepreneurship, start a business, the first thing in line, a foundational piece is just be original. Just be you. Don't need to copy anybody else. You, you can get mentored by other people, but don't try to get their, you know, what they've established, what's theirs into becoming you. You can in the beginning, but in the end, you need to kind of like learn from it and manifest your originality. And that way you become your own identity and therefore your own business. And then therefore the business starts to reflect off you. So the next step would be the people you bring along. Does those people have the same characteristics, morals? Maybe not, but you develop them. Yeah, because what I've noticed is that your team that you've had over the years have worked here and they've gone on into create their own businesses, whether it's a personal nutrition or creating a food carrier's backpack thing. And it is through the connectivity of everyone creating content on Instagram, at least this pertaining to this case, it's Instagram, that you're all feeding off of the same network, but providing a different niche and different skill set in the fitness industry. So have you seen it like, have you seen the returns in investing into your your employees at one point? Have you seen it manifest because of the creative content aspect of just making more content and building out more leaders in that way? That's a good question. Um, shoot, we have to think about what is Instagram? What's the what purpose? What are you using it for? Um, but if you're a business mindset, it is all marketing. I, I mean, if you're using Instagram to, to use it as a business slash personal, like you really kind of like not figuring out the system because what are you trying to promote? Are you trying to promote you bench pressing and looking good? Um, well, if that's the case, just create your own personal brand. Um, everything that I put into Instagram as far as like what I post in my stories or what I post on the main feed has everything to do with what's the message. and if, better be everything about the store and you'll never see me post something that has something I mean rewind it has n my English I won't post something that's irrelevant uh, to the shop because remember the store name is the first title of Instagram so it should revolve around that right not like hey it's my you know I just fucking I don't know I just cook I don't know, if, it, if it's something that has nothing to do with the industry of fitness and supplementation, I mean, maybe you got one or two chances where people will be like, ah, oh, it's all right, it's a birthday, it's a Christmas, ah, whatever. But if you're continually putting stuff like, oh, hey, this is my glasses, and you put, like, come on, man, put it on your personal page, because every time you have an opportunity and chance to add a little you know, nugget to your page is an opportunity to add value to your page. That's your business. Bottom line, every single day is an opportunity to add more fruit 
to the tree. I mean, meaning you're adding more dimensions to your business. And it doesn't have to be the same old, same old. I mean, over time, when you build that foundation and it starts to become a real business and you start to become the ambassador or the go-to person in your industry and you're not really looking to seek followers, right? You're just doing it because this is a this is the platform I'm doing it. I just have a camera in my face and I'm just broadcasting what I do every single day and now it's getting whatever. I don't change and neither should you. The fact that you might have a thousand or two thousand or even ten thousand even a million followers should not change your approach. It happens to everybody. When you put a camera on somebody's face, they change. They're not ready for it. But the person that's most aware and is most comfortable of what they do here, a camera in your face or speaking in front of a thousand people, it shouldn't, you shouldn't be shook. It's just you're just, personally, you're just not ready for the big stage. So if you talk the big game all the time and you say on your hashtag making doing big things, and when that opp opportunity knocks on your door with that big things like, hey, yo, I got a chance for you to speak in front of a thousand people, is your ass going to be ready? That's the bottom line. Or are you going to be the big talker with no work, no execution? And that's what the failures I see all across um, in this particular industry. All the people that are just big talkers doing big things, but they don't execute. They just didn't find out more about the business because everything's good and dandy when things are going right. But a true business is about solutions, figuring problems out, putting out the fires, and can you do it again the next day with a smile. And when you're very aware of yourself and you enjoy the challenge, not the end result. So then do you say that creating content is enjoying the challenge of understanding the marketing game? and getting your store name out there more? There's really no trick. I mean, the, the tr <laughs> I mean, you know, okay. <laughs> it's an art. <laughs> it's an art. I mean, I can draw a you know, Mona Lisa or a stick figure. I mean, why do some people have eyes on Mona Lisa and not eyes? And I thought that was a pretty good damn picture. I put a lot of hours. On the market will always tell you what's right and what's wrong. No matter how pretty you look on camera, no matter how articulate you may sound, the market will always tell you if you're doing things right. And how do your customers respond to your creative content? I don't really look for the creative content via on what I get in return virtual. I get it in person. The real you talk is it. in person. What do you mean? Well, for example, like you, it's subtle. Like who goes into a store and says, hey, you are like the man. And I am like, whoo, it's a subtle thing. It, it could be like, hey, I enjoy your videos. And that could be all that I need to hear because it, it's working. But the thing is, it, you're not doing it to appease like uh, for results like, oh, did I do it right? If you, here's a good, here's a really good one. <laughs> it, it could be, take it as it is. But if you enjoy watching your own TV show, <laughs> then then it's good because you're real. I'm doing it for myself. This is this is like for example, this is my TV show. So you say that for the person that that creating content is should be to yourself. It's to yourself because. Like and subscribe on YouTube. Booty in your face. <laughs> we found true happiness.